Well, we just about in time got here to be too late. <laughs> this is Russ Davis, Ringside International Amphitheater in Chicago. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where we were, at the hot dog stand or something, but we missed uh, the announcement of these two. This old boy is an old campaigner from Canada, Judo Jack Terry. You may recall him as the boy facing you is a youngster from Michigan City, Indiana, making his first appearance here at International Amphitheater. Nice clean boy by the name of Johnny Gilbert. Uh, Johnny uh, <laughs> lays certain distinction to having 20 half-brothers and sisters, amongst other things. He's been around a bit. He had a brother who was an auto race driver. He, Johnny himself boxed professionally a couple of years. So we'll see what happens. This is one fall, 20-minute affair. There goes Terry. You see why he's called Judo Jack. And the crowd wants him slugged right quick, and he got it. Right on the button. Uh, mother, the man in formal wrestling, or I should say morning dress in wrestling attire, is Judo Jack Terry. He's the man in the black swimming suit. Mm hmm. That's right. Looks like he's an old ruffian. You don't get this old and this cauliflowered and this used up in the wrestling ring and not know all of the tricks, and he apparently does. But don't ask us, Jack. Make your own decision. Either that or talk to Johnny Gilbert. There go more of those judo licks. Incidentally, Johnny Gilbert, the boy who's taking these judo licks, uh, taught judo in the Coast Guard during uh, the stint that he did with him. Oh, I didn't do a thing that wasn't illegal. What do you Do you think uh, you and I'd look as good in uh, wrestling trunks as old brother Terry does? Do you? I don't know. I think we might be a little more out of profile than he is. I think maybe I've got a little bit more hair on the back of my head, certainly on my chin. I don't know about you, though, kid. Well, he's tromping Johnny Gilbert for all he's worth. Pan up, pan up, boys. As they say in TV, movies tilt up. It used to kill me when I first started television about 14, 15 years ago. All of the TV directors said, pan up. It was pan up and pan right and pan left and pan down. Oh, go on, throw him. Oh, it's not going to hurt you a bit, Brother Terry. Come on, take a ride, kid. Countdown. Ignition. He takes off like an old wet redstone, doesn't he? Well, let's see if we can't get a little bit better. Which is it, apogee or perigee here? Whoa, that was a much higher flight, further down range. I don't know. The destruct officer, though, pushed the button on him. Look what he's doing to Gilbert. That's an inside step over toehold. In case you're wondering, we've come to a wrestling match. International Amphitheater, Chicago. Used to be when Clinky and I first started doing these wrestling shows for TV years ago, we used to have a foxhole. Then we went to a bomb shelter, now it's a fallout shelter. What'll it be next, a survival notch or something? Built on space suits? <laughs> Boy, they'd have trouble with me in that route. Oop, there we go, there was the takeaway. I may be gassing around here, but uh, this uh, match is rugged. 
think you're not. Not to quote a famous between the toes comedian, I kid you not. What is his name? Sub Parr? Uh, Jack Parr, yeah. God, boy, don't do that to me. I'll chop you again. Standing armbar. This makes you feel like you had your pinkies in the meat grinder. Well, hello, what's this? Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Well, that was a nipped-over shoulder sit. We're going to do it again, just for fun. We can't get all of you in the picture, fellas, so take it easy on the way down. Not with this land. And Joggy's thinking down a wee bit. Cherry keeps asking, I mean, Gilbert keeps asking a crowd once more, huh? So he does it once more. The wrestlers at International Amphitheater are the most obliging guys in the world. They turn around and say to the crowd, shall I brain him? And they say, yeah, like a bunch of Romans in a Colosseum, and he turns around and brains him. But they're not encouraging old Brother Terry here at all. Look out, fellas, you almost got the waltz mixed up with a tango there. There we go. I would love to know just what particular name they put on. Terry puts his hand up like he's standing out on Point Magoo, listening for the approach of a Zeus or a nice Nike missile. Shall I do more? One more? One more? Good. Clonk. Poor old Judo Jack Terry gets his brains shaken up a little more than they are. It's not an easy gesture, lad. You've given me a fearful headache. Shall I? Well, quit looking at us. The cameraman will tell you yes, too. Fellas, watch the camera work, not the match, huh? That's a nice shot of his juggler being pulled out momentarily. Grasping firmly by the Adam's apple. Zooming. This is the way they do it in Gunsmith or some one of those westerns. Uh, Clinky, uh, will you uh, throw the track shoes up in the ring? The boys need them. I'm going to slip on this old slippery canvas. Now pay attention to your wrestling instead of the crop. See what I tell you? I have a young friend by the name of Zemanik that I'm always telling, pay attention, pay attention. You see, it even happens with Gilbert, John. Barely possible somebody might ask a question. Mm. That is not good. Nor is this. Mr. Gilbert, can't you turn the table? I think so. Oh, nice shot. A little higher for your drop kick, please. Right close to the Marcus Queensbury there. Flying there. Hey, hey, a cobra. Yeah, that make him want to change his currency back into Canadian money. Well, it would seem that our boy Johnny Gilbert has done one it. We'll get it all made official for you here as soon as Lynn Sterling crawls in the ring and catches up with his bookkeeping. I think he's striking for a CPA, uh, Blink. Getting very officious lately. Like us, he's putting on too much weight. When we started these things years ago, he was skinny as a rattlesnake. Okay, we got our eye on you. Tilt up, tilt up, hey! I'm going to call IA in New York if you guys don't do better. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the time was 8 minutes 52 seconds. A Cobra twist. The winner of the match, Johnny Gilbert. So it seems Johnny Gilbert has done won this one from Judo Jack Terry. It's just one of thousands for the old campaigner. One of many hundreds for the youngster. Well, this Pappy Davis ringside international.